Roll Hall of Fame was founded in 1983. It was 12 years later that the first museum was started in 1995 in Cleveland. Baby, baby, baby. It was for the best of the best, the true legends. You can't even be considered until 25 years after your first recording. There are currently 234 inductees. About half a million people visit that first museum in Cleveland every year, but they've decided it's just too far away for more people to get to it. For the first time ever, they've opened an extra annex here in New York City. Walk on and enjoy the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Annex audio experience. Jim Hanke is here. He's the curator of the Annex here in New York. Jim, how special is it to have these artifacts here? I think it's very special. And, you know, it's, um, uh, what we're really trying to do is tell the story of rock and roll. And so we don't just take any artifact. We try to take really important ones and preserve them and thereby preserve the history of this music that's so changed the world. Which ones are your favorites? Well, I like, I like the Bruce Springsteen car that we're uh, right in front of here. And it's a um, 1957 Chevrolet convertible. And Bruce actually bought it in 1975. And he uh, paid $2,000, which is not much money for a car even back in 1975. And Bruce is the one who painted the flames on it and all that, so that's, that's all original. And then, you know, I like also a lot of the handwritten things. I like the uh, Jim Morrison poems and lyrics and um, you know, Patti Smith lyrics. I really like the handwritten things. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, you crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound And there's some really cool footage on offer here to see, like this video of David Byrne and Talking Heads in that classic suit back in 1984 for My Girlfriend Is Better. The footage fades away and then behind it is revealed the real suit, so you get a real sense of history here. My head, <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. This room's pretty cool as well. This is the special New York room. And they've got this full-size scale model of Manhattan here. And then you can pinpoint where special musical things have happened in the city. Take this one here if we press CBGB's. That's the famous downtown bar where Blondie was discovered. Here we have a bit of information about it. And if you press the light up button, you can see it flashing. That's exactly where it was in the city. Of course, now it's closed down. But here they also handily have a life-size model of that. So you can sit in what was the CBGB's bar. Oh, Room, a special tribute to British influence in rock music, an entire exhibit dedicated to the clash, and you can listen as you walk around. So that's what I'm gonna do. Enjoy. London calling to the faraway towns. Now war is declared and battle come down. London calling to the unknown. 